Right everyone, Red Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on some soft stab proof body armour. So I've done this on other things before, like chopping boards, but I wanted to make something flexible, more like the real thing, uh, and weigh a similar weight to the real thing and perform just as good. So this is what I've made. I'll go over how I made it. I won't show you exactly how I made it because it's quite simple anyway. Um, you should be able to get the gist of it with me just explaining it to you. But yeah, this is the best. I'll quickly show you how it's made and then we'll test it and then we'll come back. So basically what this involves is some old leather, but you know, you don't really need to use this at the main protection of this is the magazine basically but what I've got is two layers of leather two layers of denim a magazine and then another layer of denim again the magazine you want you want the biggest magazine you can get and I would recommend the magazine be at least 200 pages this is 250 what I've actually got in mind is an atlas and at the bottom another magazine but the atlas is slightly thicker than this magazine I'll show you all that in a second though so yeah a couple of layers of old leather from a sofa a couple of layers of old jeans and paper basically um, magazines are good because they're very dense and that they stop blades really well so yeah as I said I wanted this to be soft body armor because people complained about the um, chopping board one saying it's you know it's too hard it doesn't fit to your body you know it still works so <clears throat> you know and if that's all you can get that's all you can get and it does work um, but yeah this is an upgrade on that so that is what you need you're gonna need some scissors some tape and a stapler I would recommend duct tape that's all I had there so I'll show you the layers now so this is the front side this is the side against your body and what the layers are then is leather leather denim denim the magazines or um, atlas as you can see in there and then one final bit of denim which is against your body what I did add and I don't know how much of a difference this would make but on my stab proof vest it has this weird material it's like sandpaper so somewhere in the magazines I laid two bits of 80 grit and 40 grit sandpaper you know you never know a lot of this stuff may be redundant you could probably do away with less leather at the front I don't know the magazine may be doing all of the work anyway so you can see the basic shape there uh, this measures approximately 19 inches by 16 and a half inches this bit here is about nine inches where it swells out and at the top here about 11 inches that is so it can fold around your body but this is a totally flexible body armor and it's about as flexible as a real stab proof vest and it's about the same weight so I would recommend, definitely recommend duct tape, not masking tape. That's all I had at the time. And all I've done is I've stapled these around the edges so they held together. Nothing else. This is, this is just the inside panel that goes in the carrier, basically. You still need to make a carrier. And you can make a simple carrier from a shopping bag really easily. The one that Zombat wears is just made from a shopping bag. So one last thing before we test it. I won't do, I won't do this. But you can upgrade these easily if you want to you could always put in some chopping board in the chest area obviously this bit isn't big enough it's just to show you what you might need that's a little bit of five mil of you know approximately five mil chopping board that would make a hell of a difference or i've got here a baking tray panel that would just slide straight in here if I wanted extra 
protection. You'd obviously put it at the front, not the back. That would add an extra element of protection, but it also adds about 400 grams of weight. Right, so this is just a quick comparison of the two panels. This is the original bullet and stab resistant one. This is my homemade flexible one because a lot of people don't really like the look of the chopping board ones. They say they're too rigid. So I've attempted to make a soft panel, you know, about as soft as one of these, you know, a proper one hopefully should give you some proper decent stab protection with purely homemade materials household materials as you can see the weight is nearly the same as well this one was around about 1300 grams this was 1500 grams this is slightly bigger uh, if you cut the edges off this I may lose a couple of hundred grams so You've seen me do tests on this. I'll do some stab tests on this one now, or we'll see how it performs. So there you go, I'd say that was a success, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, that did really well for what it is. You've got to remember, if you make something at home like this, it's, prob it's probably going to be heavier than what you'd be able to buy. You know, the things you couldn't buy are going to use the best, lightest materials you could possibly get. So if you can make something homemade that's nearly the same width and weight, you've done a really good job in my opinion. And this is only 100 grams heavier, maybe 150, 200. Thickness, pretty much the same. Flex flexibility, pretty much the same as well. 
Um, you know, it's, it's purely stab though, it won't do anything other than stab protection. Stab and slash protection, and probably spike protection. I doubt any needles would be able to get through that much paper. But I certainly think that's not bad, and if you want a flexible vest that doesn't really make a lot of noise, will do the same job as most stab vests, there's an option for you. Barely cost a thing, all scrap materials you should be able to get anywhere. Um, yeah, just either put it in a carrier or make your own carrier. This is only one panel. Make sure the layers are so the leather and the fabric are outwards, and then the magazines and then a final just one layer of um, leather. You could change those um, combinations though and I don't know if some of these things may be redundant but I know all of these things are quite hard to slash and cut so if you can think of anything that's light but hard to cut and slash and penetrate you could better use this for these. Um, one thing I would say, I used an atlas in here because of how big it was. An atlas is a lot bigger than a magazine. You see, obviously, this magazine you'd need two. And you'd need to tape. And you would have weaknesses here and here on the joints. But I suppose you could possibly feather in the magazines so they're interlacing. But you can buy big magazines. I've got one indoors that's about this high and about that wide. It's a big magazine. Or, like I say, an atlas is pretty much perfect. Um... But yeah, there it is. Probably takes about an hour to make, but genuinely does work. You saw the different tests, the blades, and even the crossbow was stopped. I didn't use my broadhead because I suspect my broadhead would go through something like this. But that stopped all standard pistol bolts from the Tomcat 2. Right, yeah, so there you go. There is some homemade soft body armour that weighs about the same as the real thing. Uh, yeah, and has all the dimensions of the real thing. But probably a tenth of the price. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and all that. If you ever wanted to support me, there's a Patreon account and other ways. There's affiliate links and stuff like that. Because this channel has been demonetised for years now. And um, my only income is really through YouTube. So if you want to help me out, feel free. It does massively help me out because it makes these things possible to do. Alright? Thank you for watching. See you later.